guys, are you ready? <laughs> finally, finally here. My craft room decorated and all finished. And you have no idea how excited and how happy I am with how everything's turned out. So I'll give you a little overview first and then I'll show you a little bit more close up of a few of the things. So this is my shelves with all my craft things in. They're the Ikea shelves. And then on top of the shelf, I've got a curtain rod going across the top there. And I've just got some like shower hooks on that curtain rod and just clipped a couple of my scrapbooking pages on there. Uh, I haven't done scrapbooking in years and years. So these probably are about from say five or six years ago maybe. And then on the top there, those two pictures, they're actually portraits that well, my parents had that one done when I was about eight. And then this one, I think I had done over at Manly when I was about 15 maybe, 14 or 15. So they're just a couple of portraits that I, um, my dad actually had them at his place. So I thought, and they were just sort of stuck in the wardrobe. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll grab them and display them in my craft room. Why not? <laughs> and then I've just got some canvas. Those are just canvas boards that I haven't actually used yet. And I just thought I'd just display them so they're not tucked away somewhere. And I can remember that I've got them, but they also just make like a good layering backdrop as well. So that's there and then this little corner now that's got my chest of drawers that were from my bedroom and then we've got my notice boards here. I've got my filing cabinet drawer there with my two little bin makeovers on either side. There and then I'll sweep me around this way and then we'll go a little bit closer up of everything. So now this is my two bunning shelves. I still haven't put the little shim in the other one to raise it up. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna worry about it because now that it's all decorated, I don't even notice it to be honest. And what I've created here on this one is just a little bit of a prettier backdrop because what I plan to do when I do any talking videos or whatever, and I'm filming in my craft room, I'm just gonna flip my chair over to that side and then use this shelf as my backdrop just something that's a little bit prettier looking i guess or tried to make it a bit prettier looking just that's so a bit more of an interesting background so yeah those are my uh, bunning shelves and then i've still got my desk running down the center with my little ikea caddy and my chairs so oh and then up here i've put one of my bedroom uh, chandeliers in my craft room now as well so that looks really nice in here I'm really happy with that all right so I'll take you let's give you a bit more of a close-up of things so again like I said that that canvas one there is just one I was experimenting with with some watercolors the one behind it is just a blank one still to be done and then this L is a, a DIY I'm going to be doing later on as well so that one's not finished that's one of the prints from my bedroom. I've only kept two of them out of all the prints that were up in my bedroom. The rest I'm gonna get rid of, but I just really like the look of that one. That's just like a little oil burner. And like I said, that's a portrait that my parents had done. And then, like I said, up the top there is just a couple of my scrapbooking pages that I've done. So you can see the shower hooks that they're just sort of clipped on with. That's Jamie. Then obviously Jesse because a few of you guys just wanted to see some of my scrapbook pages as well. So those are just sort of the couple of the more recent ones, recent being, you know, at least five years old since when I did them. And that's both the kids on Australia Day. <laughs> that was quite a few years ago or 2009. Yeah, 10, 10 years ago now. God. And then that's my mum and dad on their wedding day. And then down here these little baskets I had in my decor cupboard I was going to give those a makeover but I think I'm just going to leave them as is in my craft room for now I think they sort of go quite well you may have seen a couple of these rounder ones that I've used in my laundry room that I did give a makeover to um, so I'll link those videos down below if you want to see those 
that's just a storage box it's empty at the moment but i just love the look of it um i think that was from the reject shop a few years ago i just really love it so kept that there that's the other portrait um i had done when i was about 15. that one's not quite as good as that one i don't think it's you know the other one's a lot more lifelike and yeah that's the other print that i kept from my uh, bedroom and then again just another canvas sheet behind that and that sign is one that i had at work and then I've, you've seen all of the i've gone through all of what's in those boxes and and stuff when i did my craft organization video i will leave a link to that one in the description box below as well so i'm not going to go through all them then here we've got my craft caddy which was an ikea caddy and i had spray painted that gold a little while ago i was going to change it up but um i think for now it's fine because i've still got a bit of rose gold touches on my desks as well so i think it still goes all right we've got my chairs here and you can see underneath here the only thing i've got under my desk now is my big glue bottle and that's just a gift bag full of foam pieces uh, i just don't really have any other place to store that so i'm just storing those two there and then all my scrapbooking papers are just stored on that rack there. So these are my chairs that I gave a makeover to now, looking a lot prettier in there uh, behind the desk. We've got here, I've culled all of my drawers down now to just this one drawer that I've put all of my pencils, like basically all my art stuff is in here and that's all I'm keeping in those anything to do with art arty type stuff i've just got a little rose gold tray thing on here um, that was from kmart this little post-it note set was target and then this uh, pencil case is full of my sharpies and then on here we've just got a little rose gold tray which was from kmart the rose gold candle was from kmart and then those are the two little tins that I did in a recent makeover in this whole craft room series. So they're just displaying all my paint brushes. Again, I'll leave a link to that video below as well. Here's my little craft caddy now, all set up with all my craft things that were in those acrylic drawers. And I just think that looks a lot prettier on my desk. So I'm really happy with the way that's turned out. Um, just got a candle there. My desks I didn't do anything to. I was just happy with the way they are. Um, they get a lot of abuse when I'm doing my uh, craft projects. So I just figured once they finally die, I'll probably do something else with them. But the contact, that, that's just contact paper from Kmart and it's holding up pretty well. So I can't really complain. So that's my desks. Then in this corner here, this is my drawer unit that used to be in my bedroom. This was a whole furniture makeover as well, as well as the crystal knobs. I can leave a link to that below as well. This thing here, this is going to be up on this wall. So that's a project that I still have to complete. That's not completed yet. I've just got a little container here with another L that's going to be done. Another little project and my pins. That's the Ikea drawers that I've done in another video. In the bottom drawers, oops, I've just got uh, all my art liner pens and just all different, uh, like the double-ended markers, like the thin and the thick markers, the brush markers, highlighters in that one. And then in this one, all my Sharpies. I've got like too many sharpies it's a crazy amount so i'm going to give some to jesse for her school because she wanted a pack of the sharpies so she can go through that box and pick out whatever colors she wants i've got more than enough so that's that little drawer unit and on top of that this was just a thrift store find it was about 50 cents and i've just spray painted it pink a little candle from kmart then this little vase was another little makeover I did. I think it used to be clear and I've just sort of put a bit of chalk paint on it. Flowers from Kmart. That little sign I've pinched from Jessie. <laughs> she doesn't even notice. So I'll see how long it lasts in here. 
and I've just got a little tray with my jumbo paper clips in that I bought for my planner and that little marble um, posters came out as well. And I wanted to show you, um, someone suggested I should KonMari my drawers. So I think it was Jamie, one of my viewers. Um, she said, why don't you do the KonMari method of folding in your drawers? And I'm like, yeah, why didn't I do that? So I just want to show you that I, I did it. And yeah, it's definitely a lot better than having them stacked on top of each other, not knowing what you've got. So I've done it to most of the drawers. Definitely looks a lot better. That one didn't really have much in it. That. The only drawer I couldn't really do it to, this was a bit difficult because the materials and that are all different sizes and that sort of thing, but I can still see what I've got. It was just this bottom drawer. The, the materials are just too thick and I've got some drop sheets down the bottom there. So that was the only drawer I couldn't do it with, but I know what I've got in there. So then onto my wall here, I have my uh, vision boards like you would have seen in my vision board makeover video. I have my <laughs> prettiest craft bin in the world <laughs> sitting next to the filing drawers. That filing drawer was another makeover I did and I can leave links to those below as well. On top of the filing drawer, I have this little love sign, which is possibly going to get a makeover one of these days. Once I'm a bit overdoing some other projects, I'll get back into those. Now, this little drawer unit was another video I've done for my craft room series. And inside that, I'm storing all of my Planners Anonymous kits. So I've got all the stickers and die cuts in each of the packets that belong to the kit. I've got all the stamps at the back and then in this slot here is all the papers that go with it and then in the drawers I've got just uh, some if I've made paper clips with some of the pieces that's just got some inks that came with a couple of the kits this has got all the sprinkles in it and then this bottom drawer has got all the washi at the moment now I do realize I'll be fast running out of space with these kits but I'll, um, I'll deal with that when the time comes, but I just like the way they look in there at the moment. The little vase, I think, was the reject shop. These were cane, oh, these were the reject shop as well. So both of those from the reject shop. And then just a little container with some uh, paper clips and push pins in there. And then up here, try and get the reflection off them. Um, these two frames, they were just from Kmart, I'm pretty sure. And those two pictures I just found on the internet. So I just printed them off and put them in. And I just think it's really cute because like she's like a little planner, planner girl sat at her desk. And that's the same girl, but with some paper clips. Like looks like she's got a box of handmade paper clips. And I just think that's just really fitting for that little section. So I love that. Now these drawers I haven't done much with because they just contain all my laces and my hessian and twine type things. I couldn't really fold them because it's just a bit, bit of everything in there. Um, and same with those, those are just scrap materials in there as well. Um, yeah, it's all just scrappy stuff so it's not, not too concerned. That's my little container that I gave a makeover to that now houses all of my wrapping papers, which I really like. Then on here, I have a little shelf unit. I haven't got any decorations on it yet because I can't physically fit inside my home decor cupboard at the moment. It is that jam packed with stuff. So uh, that used to be in Jessie's room, but Jessie just physically doesn't have any wall space left basically to hang anything up. So I scored that from her room and just gave it some a bit of a chalk paint makeover. I think it used to be black. Pretty sure it was black. So I just gave it a bit of a chalk paint makeover and sat it there. So when I do find some decor stuff to put on there, I will display them there. Then up on the top shelf, and I've put some little fairy lights at the back. So you can see there. So like I said, just when I can use this section as a bit of a backdrop, it just looks a little bit prettier than 
all on the other side where you could just see all the craft boxes. So I'll start up the top here. We've just got this little uh, watering can from the reject shop. This frame was also from the reject shop and it used to be like a hot pink color. And again, I've just used the same color chalk paint that I used on my chairs and just chalk painted around the frame and that print is just something I've printed off the internet. If you wanna, if you wanna find any of these prints, like those two and this one, go onto my Pinterest page, Live It Like Lisa, and have a look under the board that's called, I'm pretty sure it's called Label Prints and Labels or something like that, and you'll find all of those uh, pictures there. So if you wanna print them off yourself, you can find them there. Uh, that's one of the little craft projects I have done. I haven't got anything stored in that at the moment. So possibly when I run out of room there for all my Planners Anonymous kits, I will then start putting them in here. So that's ready to be used. Uh, these I had done, they're obviously like those kid prints you have done when you have a baby. That one's Jessie when she was a baby. Oh no, sorry, God, that's Jamie. <laughs> that's Jamie when he was a baby. And that one's Jesse. So yeah, they were done when they were about both six weeks old, I think. And they're very, very similar looking. I think they look very similar when they were babies. Um, I've just got an empty basket here that's got nothing in it at the moment. And that was just an Easter hat that I made one, one year for the school, the kids book week. Um, this one is going to get a makeover again, just one of those word prints, I just displayed it for now. Oh, I might even leave them, the wood colour, because I just, I kind of like the contrast that it brings. So we'll see what we do with that. This is just a tin from my laundry room that I will be doing a makeover to. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of like decoupage work on that one, but that'll be a future project. And then again, I've just got another canvas, blank canvas frame at the back there that I'm just using to layer for now until I get around to using it. And that um, print was from the reject shop, I'm pretty sure. It used to have a black frame and I've just spray painted it pink. And again, another little vase from the reject shop that's not really got anything in it. And then next to the window here are the two clipboards that I um, created. I haven't got anything clipped onto them yet. I just kind of like the way they look as they are for now. And then on my bookshelves, that little globe was from Kmart. I've just got all my books displayed here. My Fifty Shades Shrine, which I love. They're just all my books. I can do a, a separate video on the books if any of you guys are interested in, you know, what I'm reading or what I've read few down there some of those are Michaels that all the Arnold ones and the um, like the crime ones they're mostly all Michaels ones I haven't read any of the Game of Thrones yet I really want to read that I love this series this is all to do with like the uh, Kings and Queens of England I really enjoy those series uh, some boxes there some scrapbooking albums they're all like autobiography type books um, got my Lauren Conrad and Madame Sheet collection there. And then down here, we've just got some more craft things. My Planners Anonymous boxes. I haven't thrown, they're all empty, but I haven't thrown them out yet. And I, I only just kept them because I wasn't sure if I was going to like them sitting in that caddy. So I've just kept a couple of the boxes just in case if I wanted to store them back in the boxes. Then I've just got a couple of decorative boxes here that don't have anything in at the moment. I've got my little Kmart uh, file file holder here that has just got some pretty notebooks in and some files at the back. Here I've got my Christmas tin that was from Big W. I just love the way it looks all year round, so that's gonna stay. <laughs> I've got a stack of notebooks, they're all from Kmart. They just look pretty like that. This little Eiffel Tower I picked up from like a flea market for literally a dollar. It was like a disgusting brownie bronze color before, but I just gave it a bit of a spray paint in pink. And I like the way it looks now. Uh, the rose gold container was, I think, the reject shop. Um, and so were those flowers and the little container. 
And then on here, we've just got an empty basket at the back. And that was just like a scrapbooking project I did. Uh, it's just got a couple of my baby pictures in it. That's all my art journals and drawing, drawing and colouring books. Like I said in a previous video, this is the last Kaiser Craft MDF kit that I haven't done yet. I just got a bit burnt out <laughs> doing so many of them. So I will eventually get to doing that one, but I'm just leaving as is for now. This little container is where I'm keeping all my Planners Anonymous pens. So they're all going in there. This was just a plain black Ikea box that I just covered in some prettier paper to make it look a lot nicer. Those are my journals for this year, which I still haven't had a chance to <laughs> do anything in yet. I'm hoping to get something done in them this weekend because I've got we've got a long weekend. So I may sit down and do a couple this weekend. And the little sign was from the reject shop and the candle was I think just from Woolies. That's just one of the basic candles you can get. Then um, that, well, they were the boxes on next to it. And then I've got my smash books down there. Some more journal, like potential journal books there. And then just the rest of my crap craft stuff at the bottom, which I showed you in my craft organization video. Yeah. And I've just got my sewing machine under there behind, like behind the paper rack. And that is it guys. Oh, I just, you won't believe, I just keep walking past this room and I just look in and it just makes me so happy. Like I absolutely love the way it's turned out. It's it's everything that I had pictured in my head that I wanted to do. And yeah, it's just, I'm just so happy. So even on the top shelves there, as I do more craft projects and different things, I can display them all on the top shelf as well. Cause I eventually want to have that top shelf on both sides. Like just chock a block full with different craft projects that I've done. Oh, I'm just so happy guys. You've got no idea. So I'll be definitely spending a lot of time in this room once my once my whole house is finished stay tuned for the month of february because that is when i'll be doing up my master bedroom so for the whole month of february all the projects and all the videos and cleaning and all of that sort of thing will be geared around my main bedroom that's going to have a very farmhouse vibe to it so if you're into farmhouse decor and that sort of thing definitely subscribe to my channel because you'll be seeing heaps of that coming up in the few, in the next few weeks. Well, I'll leave it at that, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely subscribe to my channel. Make sure you check on all those links below for any videos that I mentioned in this one. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.